first time I laid eyes on Sea of Stars, I was blown away by its detailed, expressive art style. Right off the bat, it's clear that the team at Sabotage are developing a love letter to the role-playing and adventure games of the Super Nintendo and PlayStation 1 eras. The era just before 3D hit home consoles and sprite animations were how game developers brought these iconic games and characters to life. The team had managed to capture the essence of those classic top-down adventure and role-playing games so completely that with one glance I could just tell that I was looking at something special. I immediately wishlisted the game. Sea of Stars tells the story of two heroes, the lunar monk Valir, Valer? Valerie? I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Let's just say Valer. Who wields moon magic and a sword fighter named Zale who uses the magic of the sun. You can choose to play as either and you can swap at any campfire so you don't have to worry. Your choice of which character is going to lead the party does not affect the story in any way, we think. Not much about the actual adventure the two are embarking out on is revealed so far, but that's just the way we like it. Gameplay consists of traversing beautiful and diverse lands both on a gorgeously rendered overworld map and in more detailed environments where the real adventuring takes place. The layout of the areas is densely packed with ingredients and treasure to seek out and collect with lots of hidden areas and passages to explore. Paths can wind under, over, and through various areas and waterways, so it's worth it to take your time and explore, you never know what you'll find. The enemies are shown roaming the map, and you can engage with them at your own pace, no random battles here. If you try to run around the enemies and they see you, they will pursue you and try to fight you, so be precise in your steps. The game has challenging fights, boss encounters, and lots of environmental puzzles that feel great to adventure through. For example, with these colored crystals, you could just make the final combination and leave the area, but if you try all the combinations that are possible, your exploration is rewarded with powerful armor and ability upgrades. Also, there's fishing, and it's really good too. Any good RPG needs fishing. Indeed it does. You will meet lots of diverse characters during your travels. Dialogue here is presented by classic text box or no voice acting in this game, so far. But the different characters we meet are always interesting to talk to. The music is a fantastic collection of tunes that have the spirit of a retro game but with modern arrangements and the art, I mean just see for yourself. It's beautiful, vibrant and colorful with great character design and flowing animations. Just look at this golem that acts as your fast travel to get to the top of this mountain. It's awesome! I know some people who have grown up playing only 3D games will find it hard to appreciate the 2D sprite animation style, but to those people we say, Maybe if you give a game with beauty such as this a chance, perhaps we'll come to see what so many other gamers appreciate about the classic so much. Sea of Stars has a great demo out right now if you want to give the game a try for yourself, and all the gameplay you see here was taken from our playthrough of it. The demo is short, but you will get to see just enough of the game to hook you. The game itself releases August 29th, 2023 on Switch, Steam, and will be available on release day on both PlayStation Plus Extra and Xbox Game Pass. This is great news and I hope that if you've enjoyed what you've seen here so far that you will give it a try. You know that we will here at Rama Spot. And as always, thanks so much for joining us for this look at Sea of Stars and let us know, does the game look good to you? Are you planning on trying it out? Until next time, bye!